Hello lovelies. Last year we predicted every single topic that came up in the AQA GCC Biology papers and we're aiming for the same this year. Don't forget, along with this video to help your revision towards you getting those top grades, we've got our predicted papers which you download from the website, as well as the walkthroughs with Dr. Edwards go through what command words mean, how to structure your answer and how to spot the clues the examiner or she has left for you. So you can watch it all in the boot camps and the masterclasses, which come with live quiz sessions and all of the papers. Now, Dr. Edwards has been an examiner for years, and she has made these predictions based on our analysis, looking at the previous papers, and her in-depth knowledge of the exams. But please remember, these are just predictions. We haven't seen the actual papers, so please revise absolutely every predictions here will be used to write the predictive papers and they'll be used as a starting point on if you want to help focus your vision over the next few weeks. So I'm in science but you can use the timestamps to jump to separate science predictions if that is what you are looking for. So for combined science if you want to set questions and explanations to go with these don't forget we have our predictive papers and our walkthroughs. Now we know that I love to start with cells. So make sure you know all the features of the three different types of cells, bacterial, plant, and animal. We wouldn't need to pay attention to differentiation and specialization of cells. Microscopes, magnification, calculations, and how to use them. How water ions and other substances move around the cells to so diffusion, active transport, and osmosis, including the practical for osmosis. And remember, when we're thinking about practicals, we need to be expecting a new context to the practical, so it won't be exactly the same as you've done in class. In the literature, we want you to look at how cells divide, so mitosis and cell cycle, what happens in each part and what happens when it goes wrong, so cancer and treatment for this. Now cancer isn't the only to revise, I need to know, you know there are some named diseases in the specification, you need to know these in detail. So health, the different types of pathogens, non-communicable communicable diseases such as HIV, how they're spread, treatments, and how we can prevent them from spreading. Proteins and enzymes are always a big topic in biology, so you need to know enzyme action in detail. The graphs you expect to draw, how temperature, concentration, and pH affect this, and the practical that you've done for this. Plants is topics of organisation and function of plants, as well as transpiration and substances moving around the plants. Keeping with plants, knowing photosynthesis, as well as respiration. So the word and symbol equations for those, as well as the factors affect patients' both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Drug development and disease is also important. Now, don't forget the papers and the walkthroughs and the live video sessions are either in our boot camps and our master classes. And I'm really, really proud of all of your hard work. separate sciences, remember that our predictive papers and our walkthroughs include a comprehensive set of questions to help you prepare and explanations. So, this exam typically begins with questions on the cells if you understand the characteristics of bacterial, animal, and plant cells thoroughly. So focusing on cell differentiation and specific or specialised cells. Magnification, so the intricacies of using a microscope, calculations of magnification, and the practical that you've done on this. Understanding the movement of water, ions, and other substances into, out of, or within cells is important. So diffusion, active transport, and osmosis, including the practical that you've done on osmosis. So when it comes to practicals, you've got to remember that it's not going to be exactly the same as the one that you've done in class. So beyond the cell structure, cell division, so mitosis and the cell, cell cycle, including implications of error in this process, such as cancer and its treatments. But cancer is not the only disease we want you to face. So we want you to know the whole concept of health, different types of pathogens, viruses, bacteria, the named ones, communicable and non-communicable diseases like HIV, transmission, their treatment, and prevention of transmission. Yeah. So yeah. enzymes and proteins are always significant topics. So studying those, including the graphs for um, temperature, concentration, and pH, how we get those graphs, and the experiments and practicals you've done and what affects those graphs. Plant biology, so the structure and function of the different parts of the plant, and again, how substances move within the plant, so including transpiration, as well as diffusion and osmosis. Photosynthesis and respiration, so the equations, word and symbol, the graphs, the limiting factors, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So metabolism is a big, big part, so that is all the processes, everything that's made, everything that's broken down in the body. Please look at that one. And then drug development. Now don't forget, we've got the papers, we've got the walkthroughs, we've got our boot camps and masterclasses that are live. We have so much stuff to help you every single step of the way. Good luck, guys. Ouch!
This is why in some videos I've had explained scratches.